What you're seeing now is the screen you'll first see when you start up the program. It, this is the screen used to register a um, animal coming in for an exam if you're not tied into a um, practice management software. So at the time you want to register, you need to first enter the animal's information. ID, name, and date of birth, and sex are the required fields. Everything else is optional. Okay. Now, if you enter an ID you've already used in the past, it will automatically fill in the rest of the information for you about this animal. If not, you'll need to enter it by hand. The ID is by far the most important one. Everything else keys off the ID. Now, you can add an accession number, a breed, and a chip number if you wish. Um, but if not, you just put them in there and you've saved an animal for a future exam. Now, you'd also can select a species, dog, cat, you know, horse, or miscellaneous. Once you've selected the animal, you now need to set up your exam. You just click on the general body area, then a body part in that area, and then the view you want of that area. And it will put the information here in the study list. And you keep building it up in this way in the order you expect to take the images. If you get out of order, it's not a problem. You can just move it up and down using these buttons or delete one you decide you don't want. We also can add preset exams, which are personalized for each site, where you have a set a exam you do all the time in, that is set up in a certain way. So you can quickly, with one click, schedule that exam. Okay. When you're all ready, you hit exam and you're ready to take x-rays. Okay, you literally walk away from it and take your x-rays without ever coming back to the screen as long as they go in the order you expect them to. So right now, we would take a caudal spine VD and it'll move down automatically to the next shot. Okay, and you continue doing this through every shot, as long as every shot's coming up the way you expect. Okay. Now, if you ever want to change something or go back and retake, all you have to do is select the one you want to retake and take your shot. You can also reject the image that you didn't like. Okay. Like I said, so for some reason I don't like this, I can reject it. It will ask me for a password and a reason because it tracks rejects. Okay. And this image now will be saved, but will not be sent if you ever export it or send it to another doctor. You can also adjust the images, make them lighter or darker, less contrast or more contrast. You can rotate them or flip them. You can put right left markers on them to add text, crop them down closer, or zoom in and out, or magnify the image while you're taking the x-rays. Okay. If you forgot to take a shot or discover something while you, that you want to add a shot, you can always add exam and select another body part or view to take a shot of, and it'll be added to your exam. Okay. When you're all done, you're going to want to close this study. You'd click this button and the study will go away. It's been saved now in review and you can go back and view it at any time in the future. If you're connected to a PAX, you also now will have sent it to the PAX. Okay. If you had any more studies scheduled, they'll be listed here and you can go and select a previously scheduled study to continue or finish. And when you're all done, you'll find that your images are here in review, waiting to be viewed in the future. Okay. In the review screen, you, you can export images to a CD or a DVD or to your desktop or a USB drive as DICOM or as JPEG if you want to email them or send them to a, give them to a customer who won't have their own software to view. You can Stycom send them to a 
packs or or French is a radiology group. And you can print to paper or film, though that's rare nowadays. You can also reopen it to add a new exam. So if you want to add an image to the study, even after you've closed it, you can edit, correct a mistake you made, and do anything you need to to, um, add, to adjust the images. We also have a few more tools here than you had when you were taking the exam. Uh, most significantly, vertebral heart score, which will let you measure the vertebral heart score directly on the heart. And then, and I apologize if I get the wrong vertebrae here. So you can directly view it and compare and count the vertebral heart score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven and a half. Okay. And position that there. Other ones here are angles, cob angles for hips, and again Norbert angle also for hips primarily. You can make it black instead of white. Crop again, and all the tools you had in the other area. Now, if you want in configuration, when you're setting up the software, you can of course, obviously put in your hospital name, choose how you want to display date. We can also change between multiple colors if you prefer. And you can set it up to send to multiple destinations multiple other doctors, multiple um, radiology groups, and you can integrate it with a modality work list if your practice management software has that function. You can add additional views if there's any you find in here that you're missing. You can change settings for each of these views individually. Okay, and as I said earlier, you can create custom codes that will you can use the shortcuts to do common exams or to integrate with a animal hospital, larger animal hospital that has their own preset codes. We also keep track of who took what x-rays, how many have been rejected, and also what how many body parts have been taken, and how many of those rejected for quality control purposes.